There was a sense of excitement at the Kingston Methodist Church on Thursday, November 30, following the graduation of over 300 students from the Youth and Adult Training for Employment program. The day marked a significant milestone for the graduates who after months of training are now better prepared to step out into the world of work. Searchlight caught up with a few of the graduates, each with a unique story of determination and perseverance. One graduate shared how this training challenged her to step up in a program that is usually male dominated. It was fun. I learned a lot. I, there was a lot of things in the field that I didn't notice was a bit challenging. Seeing, especially seeing that it's a very male dominated field. However, as a woman, I had to push and show them what going on and thing. <laughs> I am an aspiring electrician and a software engineer. I did a bit of electrical in college and that kind of tweaked my interest. From then I started to notice that I had a lot of interest in electrical so I decided that I am going to the program to get some more skills and just become an electrician. I did general office administration. I, did, I was on the cohort six. It was a very wonderful experience. I learned new things. I met new people, made new friends. And I chose that program because I was already in the field of office administration and I decided I would like to further myself in the field. I learned how to manage my money, manage my time. I learned how to be an efficient office worker, as well as do various different, different tasks that were beyond my skills. I hope to become a good um, office worker in the future, and that I will get a nice job that pays well. Well, as I see, um, you have been certified now to do certain things, because I understand the situation. Well, I'm multi-talented. In the skill field, I do electrical installation and warehouse and stuff like that. I fix pipe and stuff. I do tiling. I had a lot of experience, but still when I go, people who more experienced than me, I learn a lot still from them. So I hope to extend my level and my, to help others and help others achieve how I want it to be achieved and reach higher. I do home furnishing and the reason why I chose home furnishing is because I want to know more about different stitches and etc. It benefit me to go out in the world to get a job that I can stitch and sew for other people. I learned new to how to make pillowcase and napkin. I hope to better myself more. Like go out there and sew and make people like my product. The curriculum covered a wide range of project areas, from technical skills like engineering to soft skills like communication and leadership. Throughout the program, students engaged in hands-on exercises, simulations, and real-world projects guided by experienced mentors and instructors. The graduation ceremony was addressed by Minister of Education Curtis King, the project coordinator, and the representative of the World Bank guest speaker and professor of management and organizational behavior at the University of the West Indies, Dwayne Devonish, congratulated the graduates and shared his perspective on the meaning of success. When you see success as a journey, you will never have the problem of trying to arrive at some elusive final destination. You will never find yourself in a position where you have accomplished some final goal, only to discover that you are still unfulfilled and searching for something else to do. The prize at the end is far more worthy than the things you left behind at the start. So success, the first S, strength. U, unity. C, commitment. C, character. E, excellence. S, selflessness. S, sacrifice. Again, I say success is a journey, not a destination. It means that what matters is not necessarily where you are at, 
at the end, but what you accomplish while you are trying along the way. It means that no matter what, as long as you try, you can never fail. It means that no matter what, as long as you try, you can never fail. When I was 15, when my deputy principal told me, Dwayne, you're not doing well academically. Perhaps you should try one of the technical vocational institutes. So it was her way of saying, you know, we can't deal with you at the institution. It's best that you find TVET, as if TVET were something to, you know, preach to my deficiency. Revalue technical and vocational education, including strategies to change the social perception of it that has relegated it to a second category of education. This implies criticizing the stratification of technical education based on an artificial opposition between doing and thinking. Very important. You see, in the education system that we inherited after our colonial period, the idea of technical skills, as we say, in education, the popular view is that you put those students who can't do well academically to pursue TVET and skills, as we see. As the ministers are basically saying, it is an artificial creation where we are thinking that those who are skilled are oriented towards skills could only do, they can't think. And somehow, those who wish to pursue academic education and are so oriented, they only could think, but they cannot do. And that is the challenge we have, to change that perception. The graduation ceremony was attended by relatives of the graduates, friends and mentors, all cheering on the graduates as they received their certificates and awards. Eldante Samuel for Searchlight 